to the Zoltaeus Gaming Channel. I am your host, Zoltaeus. Here with an episode of RimWorld. So I'm not actually going to do gameplay, unless that's what you guys want. But what I am going to do is kind of put some ideas out there. And yes, every idea in the world, as far as RimWorld, has been thought of, right? But I'm going to put some out there for some of you who may not, you know... Uh, frequent the RimWorld pages like through Reddit or Wiki or anything like that. Put some out there. If you've already seen these ideas, don't at me. I'm just putting some ideas out there that I thought would be very, very interesting. Five pawns, no more, and you automate everything. So this goes back to looking at that mod with androids and the miscellaneous robots. So in this case, what we're talking about here is only have five pawns, get to the point to where you have created enough of these bots or androids and I know androids, uh, they count as pawns, but you can, you can justify to yourself, oh, all they do is, you know, work and defend the colony while the five, you know, pawns, but do nothing. But that's the whole point of the playthrough. Five pawns automate everything. So you get to the point to where everything is done by AI or... Uh, miscellaneous row, any of that kind of stuff, where the five pawns, you can literally go to their work and tell them to do nothing. They'll just wander around everywhere and they don't have to worry about anything. Their food is made for them, money is made for them, defense is given to them. All of the androids, all of the, the robots automate everything. So these five pawns are basically kind of like in the same position as the ruler must survive where you know, they're going to have everything taken care of for them. Uh, I'm not going to put time limits on how you need to do this because research can be real painful when it comes to to setting up something like that. But I I, I think that's it's fascinating if, if we can get a colony to that point to where you got five people uh, and they have done enough work to get these, you know, little worker robots running around doing stuff for them, how how easy or hard would it be to get to the point to where those five pawns don't have to cut another tree, they don't have to cook another meal, they don't have to create anything at a uh, at a workshop bench, any of that kind of stuff. How how easy or hard would it be to get to that point? single android with no recruiting now you can modify that if you want uh, single android basically the premise of that single android is that uh, he can only recruit other androids maybe like one per year would be up to you but you start with one android and his whole purpose in life is to create a work center where he can just create and build and modify and upgrade other androids that he feels are you know inferior to him right or her it doesn't matter to start out it would be very difficult and if you especially if you want to put restrictions on yourself like i can only recruit you know one other android per game year or whatever the, the starting would be very difficult because you have to do everything for yourself. You still have to research unless you want to, you know, give yourself, you know, all those research. And trust me, getting to the point to where you can create these robots, it's a lot of research. So splitting your time, getting yourself set up, it would be, it would be a difficult run. And, and I think it would actually be a lot of fun. I've tried that with... Uh, what is it? Lost Explorer, I think it was. Uh, yeah, the Rich Explorer. Sorry, I've tried that with the Rich Explorer. It's it's difficult. You know, you you have to put a lot of thought into what you build first. You know, all of that kind of stuff. So, uh, I think it would be a very interesting concept. Now, 
Next, we have world peacekeepers. So what what is what does Altaise mean by that? Well, you're gonna need Rim Rim War and any mods that you want to to go with Rim War. Uh, trust me, there there are you know Reddit pages dedicated to you know how to to make Rim War uh, very interesting. But you would need Rim War because it allows. Uh, for factions to to actually march on other factions, send armies, take over villages, all of that kind of stuff. So what I mean by world peacekeepers is not, oh, okay, well, we're going to go and dominate everything. Everyone will be afraid of us. And if someone marches on other people, we tell them no and they stop. What I mean by that is world peacekeepers. You maintain a faction rating of 75 with all factions even the ones that hate you start start at negative 100 how difficult would it be to keep everyone pleased all the time because as you know anyone any faction that starts at negative 100 they lose faction quickly if you increase that from negative 100 to any number that isn't negative 100 and then the same goes when you have factions that start at zero, you get them to 50. Anything above 50, you start losing faction rating, you know, gradually. So keeping everyone above 75 can be very difficult. So getting yourself to that point and at the same time dealing with, with Rim War while you're getting yourself to that, where, to that point where you can, you know, start sending stuff, you can start using diplomacy, all that kind of stuff, it would be... It would be very challenging. Rim War, people love it because they can, you know, take over places. They can uh, battle armies in the field because you can actually see the armies coming towards you. Uh, but I'm putting a new spin on it. I don't want you to go to war with these people. I want you to maintain peace with everyone. And that would be, that could be very difficult. Animal attack. So, I know this isn't a new concept, but there are a lot of different mods you can use. There's even one that I haven't uh, that I haven't subscribed to that I want to, but it's it, it adds dinosaurs to the game. But animal attack. Anytime you, with the exception of maybe the first year, unless you are very fortunate, have uh, one of the requirements is going to be you're going to have to have someone with a high animal uh, affinity tab or ability but you do not attack you do not have guns if you are attacked by mad animals you just have to run away all of your combat is done by animals can be very difficult to start out with but you can get mods like animal gear so you can you know gear them up a little bit better you can get all kinds of different animals you can get alpha animals uh, animal genetics allows you to selectively breed. Uh, you can get all of the vanilla animal mo uh, uh, vanilla animals expanded, you know, mods to get a bunch of different options. And like I said, there's even one for dinosaurs. I think that would be a very challenging but a very interesting gameplay because I have seen videos where people had duck armies, and that just sounds amazing to me. And then, last but not least, I saved this for last because uh, I think you can do it without mods, but it would be very difficult to do without mods. But first, new recruit, you get Super Pawn. So what I mean by that is, how long will it take you on upon getting your first recruit? So we're not talking about the people that you start with. The first person that you recruit how long will it take you to get all of their statistics up to level 20? All of them. Um, and if your first recruit has something that they are not allowed to do, that first recruit doesn't count. It's the first recruit you get that can do all, uh, all abilities. How, how fast can you get them up to level 20 in all statistics? So if you start with anyone that has a zero in it uh, and, and passions make it easier but 
you start with uh, with a new with a new recruit that has a bunch of zeros. Oh man, or even just one, it's gonna be it's gonna be rough. But you know that then forces you to focus around that pawn, getting them to do a bunch of everything. The slow, you know, the slow rolling of some of that stuff. I mean, you may even have to buy the uh, skill trainers uh, from wandering merchants if you can. But yeah, I mean. How fast can you do that with your first recruit? But that's going to do it for this episode. Like and subscribe for more content. And as always, I will see you in the next video.